it's not the position that I'm fighting for. It is the is my belief that I can contribute to the party. That I can continue to serve. I'm by nature a workaholic. Yeah. You can check all my time when I'm in the government, I hardly take leave or so. I'm not the people think that I'm fighting for some personal interest. Uh, what we call for personal interest is not true. When I was offered star, which is quite a lucrative uh, appointment, with very minimum job, I re minimum work done, I rejected it also. I thank the the party for its confidence, but I thought that's not a good, uh, not a good thing to accept. And this goes very clearly to illustrate that I'm not after any monetary gain. I find that it's quite interesting. And it's this stamina that makes a lot of people continue to support me. That this is a man who can go crashing down and rise from the ashes, so to speak. And yet maintain a very emotionally sane still. Uh, you don't look at me that like I'm very harassed or anything like that. Uh. If Kartin is very concerned about the party, as a senior elders, as an elders in the party, somebody who has served for five and a half years, and you must not forget a ticket was installed by him, and endorsed by him, he should have picked up the phone and talked to him. And the trouble in the party is that they all group together to make sure that I'm marginalized uh, to the extent that I'm even sacked. I, I have no role in this fight. It was the whole presidency stacked against one person, Charles Alec. It was very obvious to anybody. So if you are concerned about the party, this thing has been running on for about one year plus. And if you're concerned about party, you should have called and give your advice. Until now, none of the opposition people have used it. It is my own party member who use it. Are you aware of that? Write it down. Uh, are you aware that I'm, I'm appointed as a coordinator to coordinate activities in the PR government? Yes. And I go down very often, appointed by Najib. Yes. Are you saying that Najib is not morally sensitive? Are you saying that Najib is not aware that this can be used against me? But I've been to all the PR state, none of them have any problem with me. It is my own party members who use this, because in my whole political career, they can't find any weaknesses in me. Understand? So it says a lot about my personality, you know. But the other side of the coin is that people look at it differently, that this is a man who dared to admit his mistake. This is a man who dared to resign over his mistake. This is a man who is not evasive. And this is a man who is willing to rise from the ashes. So it tells you a lot about the determination of this man. Well, I've already going to launch this manifesto. That we have one million people. And if every one of us have the working, the true spirit of MCA through the philosophy of the humble end. No, you are the first person I show this to you. You see, every end knows his duty and responsibility and is dedicated to his task. Agree? Yep. A single end has not much of a 
of strength. But a colony of ants would have significant amount of, uh, of strength. So what I'm saying is that we should have this philosophy of collective leadership in MCA. And if you look at N, N U, N is A N T S. So it is translated to mean all inclusive, national interest, transparent, and selfless service. One is to reorganize the central and the state liaison committee. Two, reduce internal friction within the party. And this can be demonstrated by your appointment. That your appointment is inclusive and not exclusive. And three, getting down to work to engage the community. I'm by nature a confident person because I believe that the hard work that I put in is known by all the delegates in the MCA.